Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Cullinan, Marketing Manager of Cork Airport, and it's our distinct pleasure to welcome the Lord Mayor of Cork and his wife with us this afternoon for the unveiling of the Philip Gray painting that you see behind me. We're delighted at Cork Airport to be the host for this fantastic painting over the foreseeable future. Philip and I share a love of Cove and Philip's relationship over time with the harbour is synonymous with many of his paintings. And it's interesting that this painting now will adorn the walls here at Cork Airport, which for many incoming visitors to our city and our county, and indeed our country, uh, is their first glimpse of Ireland. Sadly too, for many of our young people at the moment, it's their last port of call before they seek their fame and fortune in lands beyond these shores as a result of emigration. In the same way in the past, as Cove was the last site for many immigrants in the past, Cork Airport is the last site for many people leaving Ireland. And I think when you see the painting unveiled today, you'll see many symbols inherent in the painting that take us back to the roots of Cork and what it has to offer and what makes it a great city and full of people that are immensely proud of its past, but also looking forward to its future. So it's with great pleasure that I now invite Philip Gray, the artist, to address us. Philip. Kevin, thank you, and uh, I, I must say, uh, it's my pleasure to be uh, to be able to be here. Um, I never thought I'd see actually from the day where a painting, and they call it the Philip Gray painting, but it's probably a painting by uh, the city of Cork. And uh, I'd just like to uh, say thank you to the Lord Mayor for taking kind of time out for coming to unveil this painting. Um, and for everyone that participated. And I think that's the key factor. Um, we have had many people involved. We've had Kerry from Fusion PR Company. We've had uh, Bookies Fine Art, um, who have represented me in Cork, and I'd like to thank them for all the work that they have done. We have um, the fantastic Vision Centre, where the um, commencement and start of this painting actually happened and we had an exhibition there um, at the Vision Centre and uh, John would like to thank you all for the work that you did there. Um, just a little bit on the painting. Um, this painting would not have happened if over 200 people had not been willing to participate. And it's, I feel it's incredibly interesting that when people put something on the canvas, they haven't a clue what they're doing. And the whole idea of doing this in Cork, I've done it quite a number of times um, at special events, but this was a very special one for me because there was a lot of people, uh, and some people here today that kind of come to my art class, and it was an opportunity for lots of people to come together to put this mark on, not knowing ultimately what would, what would happen, least of all me. And that's perhaps kind of the, the, the exciting thing and the frightening thing with it. And the title of this painting is called Together We Can Make a Difference. And I believe that the end result presents perhaps a vision of hope for not only Cork City and the people of Cork, but for us as a nation. And we're going through a very difficult time at this point in time. And for me, I believe that like this painting, together, if we work together, we can actually make a difference. And I think that's the key factor. So what I'd like to do is just to call upon uh, Lord Mayor, to um, uh, say a few words and to uh, then officially unveil uh, the painting, hopefully forevermore. Okay. Just apologies for my voice. It's nearly gone and it wasn't a football match or anything like that. But just to say that I'm delighted to be here this afternoon. Um, I was 
the division centre tonight, that this project then commenced, and I think in fairness to John, it's probably one of the most successful nights we've had in the division centre for quite a long time, and it was the first night of 2011, and I'm sure we're going to have many more nights, maybe not as good as it, but similar to it in the coming 12 months. I also want to thank Kevin for facilitating the painting up here in Cock Airport, <coughs> and Kevin is dead, dead right, and Philip is dead right as well. This airport, excuse me, is called an Ango, our own little airport up here, is very much part of what we do here in Cork, and it has been for a very, very long time. It's a focal point for many people, either leaving or arriving, and the fact that we're going to have this beautiful painting on here in a few minutes, I think will be something that will be admired and treasured by all the people in the country and at the Cork airport. Well, as Philip said, the title of the painting in itself, in itself, sends out a very, very strong uh, message indeed. And I suppose it's on two and three really because on the night that uh, people were asked to participate, there was um, a bit of fundraising with Dan in and that evening, they had um, Simon, and there was a significant number, the amount of money um, generated on that particular night. Mm. And that money will go directly to Simon, and I think that's part of what we're saying here this afternoon, is making a difference. Simon, for many years, have made an unbelievable difference the homeless people here in the city with the different centres now that we have set up all over the city of Park and the county and indeed the continuing work that they do on the ground at night time to try and make sure that this city, we are proud to say this, we have very little homeless people left on our streets um, today and that's as a result of the work that Simon and others have been doing over the years. But I also echo the sentiments of Philip in relation to the, the city and the country and the times that we find ourselves in. And we all know what's happening at the moment and what's going to be happening over the next um, couple of weeks. And there was that um, conference in UCC about two weeks ago. And Billy Crosby from the, the Echo made a speech. And it's something that caught my attention and should catch, catch everybody's attention. Because whatever happens, whatever happens on the 25th of February, we should start looking forward. We should talk about confidence and not be looking back. Because if we look forward from the 25th of February onwards, that's making a real difference. That's where we can make a difference. And we were there the other night with one of the biggest events in the city, the Chamber. And Willie Welch was over, I was telling Kevin, as the guest speaker. And another thing that can move this city and this movement move this country forward is the absence of regulation. And as Willie is driving, he said, regulation, regulation, regulation is holding all of us back. Holding all of us back. And I'll give you an example of that. We lost a very significant project here in Cork City because of a big massive road that we were building. The road that had the object to us. But I'm delighted to be here because we need to make a significant, significant difference uh, going forward. And I will repeat that message again, going forward in confidence, in confidence. I believe in Cork. People of Cork believe in, 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 in their city. We certainly look forward to the economy and taking an upturn. And I think people that will come through this building, whether they're leaving or returning home, will be delighted. So what I'm sure is a fantastic piece of art. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think as you look at the painting you can see um, so many different things and it's interesting because so many faces <laughs> like over 200 people put their mark on the board or on the canvas and um, then I blindfolded tried to tackle the painting. Now the reason for that was that I didn't want to insult someone by uh, going over their mark. But when I took off the blindfold, what came out was what I could see was just so many faces. Now it's interesting, I didn't do that. Over 200 people did. All I did was enhance what was there. And I think that's the very, very special thing about the painting. Whilst it's called a Philip Gray painting, it is a painting for all the names that participated 
and what we've done is we have listed them up here uh, to, to show that for those that perhaps do paint or those that haven't painted, they are now actually part of a painting in the public domain, which I think is very special. So well done, all of those that participate. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, before we conclude, and I'd like to invite you to join us in the, the Red Bar upstairs for refreshments afterwards, I just would like to thank my own colleagues in maintenance that had the onerous task of a, finding a suitable site for such a fantastic painting and had the diligent task of making sure that it was erected after this afternoon. So to the maintenance team here at Cork Airport, for Mila Margaret today. So we may want to just take a few more photographs for posterity and then um, there's teas, coffees and refreshments in the, the rear of the, the Red Bar upstairs. We'd be delighted uh, if you could join us for that. Gormila Margot Galera.